What is going on guys? Tom here. Super excited today. I'm shooting today from my friend's farm. Uh, he's got a big farm. He's got like, I don't even know how many acres of farmland he has. Now, I'm excited today because um, I wanted to share his story with you guys. Now, he started as a really humble guy. He started doing working on different businesses. He had a pizza store at one point and then he started expanding into a few Tim Hortons which is a uh, big coffee company here in Canada. Why am I telling you guys this story? Because today I want to talk to you guys about some of the important things of how to run a business and how you can actually turn your profits or sorry uh, how you can actually turn thousand dollars into hundred thousand two thousand into two hundred thousand dollars with Amazon FBA now not everybody is gonna be successful in farming and agriculture and not everybody is gonna be successful on Amazon FBA so that is one of the things I want to talk to you guys about that how you can turn that two hundred two thousand dollars into two hundred thousand dollar income a year for yourself now one of the things with Amazon is that it allows anybody and everybody to get on it it has the potential, it has massive potential um, for you to grow and you can literally sell anything on it. That's the beauty about it, guys. Now, there are some costs associated with it. What does that $2,000 cost associated with starting on Amazon FBA is for? Now, the reason we can start with $2,000 is because we don't have to have overhead. We don't have to have like um, a physical location or do all kinds of advertising or anything like that success comes with Amazon FBA from just purchasing or finding profitable products first overseas bringing them to an Amazon FBA warehouse and Amazon will take care of the rest for you guys that's what fulfillment by Amazon is now there is a cost you don't have to bring like hundreds or thousands of units you can literally bring 300 units and if you're manufacturing something at like two or three dollars per unit right and then you add your shipping cost to bring it from overseas to an Amazon FBA warehouse and then you add the cost it uh, per unit for Amazon to actually house your inventory right so that's your inventory cost and the fulfillment fees which is basically pick pack and ship it to your clients and take care of the customer service side of things if there are any issues and all that all that cost will come to like about ten dollars for you guys okay so on average and that's including in manufacturing shipping production bringing it to an Amazon FBA warehouse your Amazon FBA fees and your inventory fees and then when you take that cost right and you bring in let's say uh, about just for a math a simple math sake 100 units because you want to start small do you want to see if it's actually happening for you guys or not so 100 units at $10 a piece that's thousand dollars right so that's thousand dollars of your product that includes Amazon FBA fees shipping costs inventory costs and your manufacturing costs from there what you need is you need some tools so I've always told you guys that Jungle Scouts Chrome extension is one of the best tools that you can use. So make sure to purchase that. It's an annual subscription, $100. Merchant Wars is another that I have a link below for you guys for $9.99. So that's another $10 added to your month. I always leave a couple hundred room just in case I need something else down the road. Now, not everything is gonna go as planned. Sometimes you may have some returns which can cost you some money. You may have to do giveaways, right? Some units, which is also going to cost you money. So that's why you can literally start with $1,000 or the most $2,000. You can really start on Amazon FBA and really build a profitable business. But you also have to make sure that the products that you're searching, right? The products that you're trying to sell are profitable. And that's why we need these online tools in order to make sure that our business is sustainable. Now, the reason I'm in my friend's farm and I'm shooting this video for you guys is because he did just that with his business. He did not just go and sell anything. He found out what is profitable, right? He f figured out what vegetable and what crops to grow and which one is profitable in the area that he's in. What is the market like? Who are the buyers? Who are the other suppliers? Which are his competitors? He really did his research. 
and literally started from nothing and now he's got like a big field he's making a ton of money and it's insane like I would never get into farming because I'm not good at it but he is a perfect example for me to show me how uh, he can start low and really build an empire for himself so that's it guys I hope you guys learned something valuable today and hope I can explain to you guys I explain to you guys that how you can start with two thousand dollars and make a two hundred thousand dollar business with Amazon FBA it's as simple as that now remember guys the key thing with Amazon FBA is profitable product search product search or anything like it does not end you have to add products to your portfolio and you have to scale your business you have to make sure that the products you're bringing in are somewhat related, right? All these things require research and that's why these tools are your constant cost. Every year you have to have them because you are constantly researching. You're constantly trying to sell different products. Amazon, like I would be surprised if a product stays profitable for like a full 12 month period. So that's why you have to make sure that you're always researching, you're always figuring out what is profitable and you're always adding products to your portfolio you never want to stay with one product because that's just disaster waiting to happen for you guys so that's how you start a business with two two thousand dollars and I'm, I'm being very conservative with you guys like i'm actually adding um additional um unforeseen costs in there so that you guys you guys get the reality a lot of people say oh you can start with five hundred thousand dollars but there are a lot of hidden costs that you may incur so I don't want to give you guys that um, you know that impression that um, you can start an Amazon FBA business with 500 honestly with 500 you're not gonna be able to you have to put in at least thousand dollars preferably two thousand dollars and that's how you'll have a successful long-term Amazon FBA business that can generate you hundred to two hundred thousand dollars a year in profit not sales guys your sales will be 400 because i'm telling you guys the sales that you're gonna have i would always want to make sure that 40 to 50 percent of that is your profit margin so like i said guys that the entire fees was going to cost you ten dollars per unit make sure your unit you're selling it at twenty dollars and above because you want to give yourself a 10 per 50 percent margin anything below twenty dollars the uh, for sales price the products that are selling below twenty dollars i would not even touch it right and that's why it's important to build that business the next part of it is to do a proper private labeling and branding always brand your product that's how you're gonna stand out among your competition and that's really gonna help scale your business the next few uh, videos that I'll be doing, it's all going to be about scaling your business and how to really sustain a profitable business. I've been able to do that for a few years now and I want to teach you guys how to. Thank you guys. I hope you guys learned something great today and valuable and really enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're a new viewer. I really appreciate it. Thanks again guys and I'll see you guys next time.